Hey agents, I got an exciting build to share with you today, as you can see from the footage, and just in time for Title Update 12. I wanted to get it out today so you can use it to level up your season pass. I'm going to go through the build as quickly as possible, mostly so you can enjoy the soundtrack and gameplay footage. I made this one especially good for the holidays. So anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. This is an iteration of a previous build, and it's built upon the Ridgeway's Pride exotic chest piece, mostly for the armor regeneration. I'm running an Alps backpack for 20% repair skills, and it has Wicked for the talent, which gives me 18% weapon damage when I apply a status effect, which happens every time I land a bullet, thanks to Ridgeway's Pride. So I have repair skills, crit damage, and protection from elites. And I have this on every piece, making this a perfect rainbow build. I'm normally not a fan of rainbow builds, but I've tested this in many different configurations, and this is the strongest, toughest build of all. And that's because we're stacking things for a compounding effect. And as you can see from the game footage, this build doesn't only take damage, it can deal it too. I have an RNK mask for incoming repairs, and it has the same configuration as the backpack. This mask basically turbocharges the heals. The last three gear pieces are improvised, and they all have the same configurations except for the core attribute. I tested this build in many, many different configurations, and I found this had the best balance between survivability and power. I play mostly with groups, but I really had the solo player in mind when I created this build. And I mostly play legendary content, so yes, this build is legendary approved. Which, by the way, reminds me, I created chapters in the description area, in case you want to jump around and check out different parts of the video. Okay, so weapons are dealer's choice. I normally would run the SIG MPX with the Sweet Dreams on this build, but I discovered the Super Marine 90 since I finally got a good drop. And I'll tell you, this thing hits like a truck, and that RPM that it has makes a world of difference. In this particular version, I have Reformation, but I also have one with Sadist on it for an additional 20% weapon damage. And for the SIG MPX, I'm running Sadist. I also have a version with Reformation on it. My pistol is the card for that extra skill tier, and I also have reformation on it. You'll see from the gameplay that this pistol is quite important to the build, and not just for the extra heals from that skill tier. You've probably noticed my playstyle by now that I don't like to just throw out my skills and sit back behind cover. I'm looking for a good fight, and I like to take on big groups of enemies. And warning, this is just my opinion. In order to do that effectively, you have to go without a shield. And that's because it's all about speed. And the shield is clunky and it really slows you down. I mean, I can eat a sandwich at the time it takes to switch weapons while holding the shield. Which brings me back to my point. While testing this build in the open world, I started integrating the SIG MPX shotgun and pistol seamlessly by tapping the reload button and then cycling to the next weapon. This allows me to fire 75 bullets before actually reloading. It takes a little practice and I'm still not perfect at it, but mastering this is the best way to improve your DPS. Just think of John Wick. He never reloads during combat. He usually cycles through weapons, whether they're the enemies or his own. And I bring up John Wick because that's what I feel like when I'm using this build. You're always surrounded and if you're so close to the enemy, you're basically punching them in the face.
Don't forget to check out these other great build videos.